Can you build muscle and lose fat at the same time? I'm Finn from FA Fitness, and today we're destroying the biggest myth in fitness because I'm tired of seeing people waste months choosing between looking good and being strong. Here's what most people think. You either bulk up and get fat, or you cut down and lose muscle. Pick one, because apparently your body is too stupid to do both at once. Well, I'm here to tell you that's complete nonsense, and the science backs me up. This old-school bodybuilding mentality has screwed over more people than a gym membership salesman. The idea that you need to eat like a garbage disposal to build muscle then starve yourself to see abs is outdated dangerous and, frankly, lazy thinking. A 2013 study found that when people ate 600 extra calories per day, they barely gained more muscle and tripled their fat gain. So all that extra food just made them fatter, not stronger. It's like trying to water a plant with a fire hose. More isn't always better. But here's the thing. Your fat tissue and muscle tissue are completely separate systems. They don't share a bank account. Your body can absolutely burn fat for energy while building new muscle tissue at the same time. It's not magic, it's basic biology. Now some fitness gurus will tell you body recomposition only works for complete beginners or people on steroids. That's like saying only race car drivers can parallel park. Sure, it's easier for some people, but that doesn't mean the rest of us are doomed to fail. Let me break down who can successfully build muscle and lose fat simultaneously. First up, new lifters. If you're new to the gym, you're basically a muscle building machine. Your body is so excited about this new stimulus that it'll pull energy from fat stores to fuel muscle growth. It's like your body has been waiting its whole life for this moment. Second, overweight individuals. If you're carrying extra body fat, you have a massive energy reserve just sitting there waiting to be used. Your body can tap into those fat stores to fuel muscle building while you're in a caloric deficit. It's like having a backup generator during a power outage. Third, detrained individuals. If you used to be in shape, but life happened and you stopped training, you have muscle memory on your side, your body remembers how to build muscle and can do it incredibly quickly. It's like riding a bike, except the bike makes you look amazing. Fourth, people using performance-enhancing substances. Now, I'm not recommending this, but the science shows that enhanced individuals can build muscle so efficiently that their bodies easily tap into fat stores for energy. But here's the kicker. I'd add a fifth category that nobody talks about. Sub-optimized trainee. This includes pretty much everyone who's been going through the motions at the gym without really pushing themselves or eating properly. And let's be honest, that's most people. If you've been doing the same workout for two years, eating whatever fits in your mouth and wondering why you look the same, then congratulations. You're a perfect candidate for body recomposition. Your body has so much untapped potential that when you finally start training and eating properly, the results will shock you. Research shows that even advanced athletes can achieve body recomposition when they optimize their approach. One basketball player gained 20 pounds of muscle in 10 weeks while losing fat. This guy could squat 1.75 times his body weight, so he wasn't exactly a beginner. So how do you actually do this? Let me break it down into five simple steps that actually work. Step one, recognize that training is everything. You can eat the perfect diet and take every supplement on the planet, but without progressive resistance training, you won't build muscle, period. Think of training as the engine and nutrition as the fuel. Without an engine, the car doesn't move, no matter how good the gas is. Focus on progressive overload, proper form, and genuine effort. Aim for 10 to 20 sets per body part per week. This isn't rocket science, but it does require consistency and intelligence. Step two, decide on your primary goal. Even though you want to do both, you need to pick, which is more important right now. If you're already lean eight to 12% body fat for men, 18 to 22% for women, then focus primarily on building muscle. If you're carrying more fat, 15 to 20 plus percent, for men 25 to 30 plus percent, for women, then focus primarily on losing fat. This doesn't mean you ignore the other goal, it just means you prioritize one over the other. Step three, center your calories around maintenance. This is where most people screw up. They think they need to eat like a bodybuilder in the off season or starve like they're preparing for a photo shoot. Both approaches are stupid. If muscle building is your primary goal, eat in a slight surplus, five to 25% above maintenance. If fat loss is your primary goal, eat in a slight deficit, 10 to 20% below maintenance. The key word here is slight. We're making small adjustments, not dramatic swings. Step four, set up your macronutrients properly. Protein is king for body recomposition. Use a sliding scale based on your body fat percentage. The leaner you are, the closer you should be to 1.6 grams per pound of lean body mass. The more body fat you have, the closer you should be to 1.2 grams per pound of lean body mass. Set fat intake at a minimum of 20% of your total calories, then fill the rest with carbohydrates. Don't overthink this. Hit your protein target, get enough fat for hormone production, and use carbs for energy. Step five, optimize the details. This is where the magic happens and where most people give up because they think the basics should be enough. 
Sleep is absolutely critical. A 2018 study found that people who slept well lost 83% of their weight from fat, while sleep-deprived people lost 80% of their weight from fat, 5% of their weight as muscle. That's insane. Nutrient timing around workouts can help, but it's not make or break. Focus on getting adequate protein throughout the day, rather than obsessing over the exact timing. For supplements, keep it simple. Protein powder to help hit your daily targets, creatine for strength and performance, and caffeine for energy and focus. Everything else is optional. This is exactly why I created FA Fitness Programs. Whether you have 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes, our workouts are designed for body recomposition. We use progressive overload, smart programming, and efficient exercises to maximize both muscle building and fat burning. Our programs work whether you have no equipment, dumbbells only, or access to a full gym. We've taken all the guesswork out of training so you can focus on consistency rather than wondering if you're doing the right exercises. The truth is, body recomposition isn't some mystical process reserved for genetic freaks or people with unlimited time. It's a systematic approach that works for almost everyone when done properly. Stop choosing between looking good and being strong. Stop accepting that you have to get fat to build muscle or lose muscle to get lean. Your body is smarter than that and you deserve better results. Check out FA Fitness Programs in the description below. We have options for every schedule, every equipment situation, every goal. Stop wasting time with outdated approaches and start building the body you actually want. If this video opened your eyes to what's actually possible, hit the like button and subscribe for more science-backed fitness advice that cuts through the nonsense. Your future self will thank you for making the switch to intelligent training. Remember, you don't have to choose between muscle and leanness. You can have both, and FA Fitness will show you exactly how to get there.